Dale Perlman and his family are best known for the jewelry stores that they owned. Come April, through the Butler Community, Butler Community College, Perlman will be lecturing on gemology, which is totally appropriate, but he'll also hold classes on the birth and death of steel, which may not be associated with a jeweler. Dale Perlman's interest in steel includes a Ron Dono original titled The Poor, which hangs on the wall of his Neshanic Township home in Lawrence County. And I took one look at that picture, and I said, I want to use that for my cover. The cover, that is, of his book titled Steel, the Story of Pittsburgh's Iron and Steel Industry, which was followed by Road to Rust. The books include stories of steel barons like Andrew Carnegie and of the people who worked in the mills. In one year in Pittsburgh, 105 people died in the mills, and something like 30 of them got nothing for the families. In April, Perlman will lecture on the steel industry at Butler Community College's Lawrence Crossing campus in Union Township. He will also lecture on gemology. I had always had a love for some of the great diamonds of the world. And that love for diamonds was inherited. His grandfather started Perlman's Jewelers, which later became King's Jewelry. The 79-year-old Perlman himself once owned the company. He's now retired. And two of my books are on some of the biggest diamonds and the most important historical diamonds in the world. One is the Regent, and it's in the Louvre Museum, and the other diamond is uh, the Kohinoor, which is in the Tower of London. Perlman has glass examples of what some of the great diamonds look like. Letting people hold them will be part of his lectures. The gemology lectures, though, will not be scientific. The average person should enjoy them. Because each of those diamonds have, have a story attached to them, and it's more interesting than just the diamond itself. Perlman's gemology lectures will be April 5th and 12th, and his steel lectures April 14th and 19th. They'll be held at the Lawrence Crossing on West State Street in Newcastle from 6.30 to 8 p.m. They're part of Butler Community College's lifelong learning program.